always ask, what are they selling here, and who's selling it? And if you actually follow up on Stauber and Rampton's book you might even glimpse the possibility of advancing your life one quantum simply by ceasing to subject your brain to mass media. That's right, no more newspapers, no more TV news, no more Time magazine or Newsweek. You could actually do that. Just think what you could do with the extra time alone. Really feel like you need to relax or find out what's going on in the world for a few hours every day? Think about the news of the past couple of years for a minute. Do you really suppose the major stories that have dominated headlines and TV news have been, what is going on in the world? Do you actually think there's been nothing going on besides the contrived tech slump, the contrived power shortages? the refiltered accounts of foreign violence and disaster, and all the other non-stories that the puppeteers dangle before us every day? What about when they get a big one, like with 9.11 or Monica Lewinsky or the Oklahoma City bombing? Do we really need to know all that detail, day after day? Do we have any way of verifying all that detail, even if we wanted to? What is the purpose of news? To inform the public? Hardly. The sole purpose of news is to keep the public in a state of fear and uncertainty so that they'll watch again tomorrow and be subjected to the same advertising. Oversimplification? Of course. That's the mark of mass media mastery, simplicity. The invisible hand. Like Edward Bemez said, the people must be controlled without them knowing it. Consider this what was really going on in the world all that time, they were distracting us, with all that stupid vexatious daily smokescreen. Fear and uncertainty, that's what keeps people coming back for more. If this seems like a radical outlook, let's take it one step further what would you lose from your life if you stopped watching TV and stopped reading newspapers altogether? Would your life really suffer any financial, moral, intellectual or academic loss from such a decision? Do you really need to have your family continually absorbing the illiterate, amoral, phony, uncultivated, desperately brainless values of the people featured in the average nightly TV program? Are these fake, programmed robots normal? Do you need to have your life values constantly spoon-fed to you? Are those shows really amusing, or just a necessary distraction to keep you from looking at reality, or trying to figure things out yourself by doing a little independent reading? Name one example of how your life is improved, by watching TV news and reading the evening paper. There's no question that as a nation, we're getting dumber year by year. Ever notice the blatant grammar mistakes, so ubiquitous in today's advertising and billboards? Literacy is marginal in most American secondary schools. Three-fourths of California high school seniors can read well enough to pass their exit exams. But it also doesn't stop the schools from giving them diplomas. If you think other parts of the country are smarter, try this one hand any high school senior a book by Duma or Jane Austen, and ask them to open to any random page and just read one paragraph out loud. Go ahead, do it. Saturday scales are arbitrarily shifted lower and lower to disguise how dumb kids are getting year by year. At least 10 have documented learning disabilities which are reinforced and rewarded by special treatment and special drugs. Ever hear of anyone failing a grade anymore? Or observe the intellectual level of the average movie, which these days may only last one or two weeks in the theaters, especially if it has insufficient explosions, chase scenes, silicone, fake martial arts, and cretinesque dialogue. Radio? Consider the low mental qualifications of the falsely animated corporate simians they hire as DJs, they're only allowed to have 50 thoughts, which they just repeat at random, 